Hey everybody, welcome back to Houndlander Gaming. This is Matt, otherwise known as Spitfire Hound, and today we're going to be playing Sumerian 6 on Steam. Thank you to the developers for providing a review key. Let's have a look and get into it. Geistoff was the impossible. A hitherto undiscovered resource with near limitless potential. Following the Great War, the military scientist Alastair Sterling assembled a team of brilliant minds to unlock its secrets. His friend, Dr. Hans Kammler, theorized that Geiststoff could generate unlimited clean energy. And thus, heal a wounded Europe. But this project was a catastrophe. There could be no question, Geiststoff was far too dangerous. A broken squad disbanded, having all grimly agreed that the world could never know about Geiststoff. All save one. Obsessed and resentful, Kamla found a new patron, one all too willing to exploit Geiststoff, to create the weapon to end all weapons. And so, Kamla assembled his own team to tap Geiststoff's nightmarish power. But he was unaware that one of them was Alastair Sterling's daughter. Working with her restive brother to bring down Kamla's wonder weapon program from the inside. Oh, bloody hell. You're not at your station, are you? No, I'm at the... No orders for to sit on your ass and decode your sister's message. I thought they were simple enough. Oh, we haven't heard anything from Izzy in days. This is not a game, sir. You either follow my commands or you'll... Sorry, Dad, you're breaking up. <sighs> now, what have you gotten yourself into, Isabella? And how am I going to get past all these bloody guards? So just to clarify, the gameplay will skip sections. Uh, I did keep messing up, unfortunately. I'm not used to these kind of games. The gameplay was quite new to me. I've not played anything like this since Commandos back in the day. So rather than watching me mess up constantly and have problems and replay the same section, I've picked out the best bits of gameplay that I collected and I've put them into this video for you to get an idea of what this game is. I guess I better keep out of view. <sighs> not gonna look the other way, are you? Good thing I have a flash bomb on me. <laughs> Thanks for the gadgets, Enigma Squad eggheads. going. <sighs> Warm up over. I have to be extra careful now. I'll give the hitchhike gizmo a whirl and let the crowd take me where I want to go. <laughs> I have no idea how that junk works, but it works. Risk it with the handgun. Yeah, as long as the crowd I shoot dead is the only one to hear it, I think I'll be fine. Huh. 
Easy. Uh, don't want anyone spotting that corpse and raising an alarm. Let's find you a better spot. <laughs> Consider it done. Finally, some action. distracted, aren't you, mate? Izzy, thanks, but I really didn't need the assist. And neither do I. Did Dad send you to check up on me, or was it your own bad idea? <sighs> Come on. You know he'd never change one of his plans for our benefit. Nothing from you in a while. I was worried. And now I have to worry about you blowing my cover. Since you're already here, you might as well help me out. First things first, we have to get inside the castle walls. On my way here, I crawled through a shaft and wall. I don't think it's wide enough for you. Are you calling me fat? <laughs> I'll just climb the vines and meet you on the other side. I'm afraid the inner walls won't be as easy to get through. The gates can only be opened from within. So, we'll have to take the scenic route. Lovely. A guided tour of the Nazi castle. Oh, I know a landmark you'll enjoy in particular. The ammunition depot. That does sound like a worthwhile detour. Definitely. We'll need all the help we can get to reach our next stop. Karmler's study is constantly under guard. So far, I haven't figured out the goal of his Geistoff experiments. But I know the answers are in that room. And in the inner courtyard. I've caught glimpses of a strange machine he's been working on. Only from afar. I have no idea what it does. We'll find out. This is our chance to show Dad what we can really do. Together. Fine. Together. thing is impressive, whatever it is. Look at those glowing barrels. It's Geistoff. I'm up for anything. I'll show you what I'm made of. My bad. I'll handle it. <laughs> so that's why he's so obsessed with the Sumerians. Look, a tablet made a guy stop. It looks authentic, but that would mean lots of references to a city called Gisaren. That's a new one for me. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't get those calculations from the clay tablet, or a Geistoff one. 
You should know that the Assyro Babylonian mathematics were actually incredibly advanced for its. Wait. That's the device from the courtyard, isn't it? Yep, let's go. Maybe Dad would go easy on me if we figure out how it works. But, but, but I need to examine the... Come on. You were so worried about blowing your cover, remember? <sighs> so, as I said earlier, I'm not used to this kind of game. It's not really my cup of tea, but if you're a fan of games like Commandos, Shadow Tactics, then I think this is definitely something that you'd enjoy. Graphically, it's great. I love the comic book style. Uh, the controls, I find once you're used to them, it's just a little bit different. It's just that, for me, this isn't the kind of game that I enjoy. And it's for one simple reason. I'm not a huge fan of stealth. Like, I have no problem with the turn-based aspect of it. For example, I love Gears Tactics, which is much more action-packed. But I'm just not a stealthy person. I'm not good at it. But that being said, this is a very good game. It's very well made. It's very good looking. And again, if you're a fan of things like Commandos or Shadow Tactics, please give it a go. I think you'll enjoy it. That's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you very much as always for watching. Take care and I hope to see you next time.